there pasta purple we are doing our thought for today and we are on day 17 and we are looking at the book of daniel the book of daniel has two distinct halves to many people it has the stories at the beginning as prophecies uh towards the end there are some prophecies in the beginning of course but those stories are interwoven with human experience and the prophecies towards the end of the book can be very very complicated um so much so that they made daniel himself sick to his stomach and so the scripture for today was from Daniel 12, which is the last book of Daniel, verse 3. And it says this, those who have insight will shine like the bright expanse of the heavens and those who lead, lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. This is really a challenge to those people who lead, to those people who have wisdom. If you are one of those people who during this time are scrambling to try and think ahead of how people will be experiencing the COVID, how people will come out of this on the other side. It's really important that we think about um, these things. But for those people who have wisdom to be able to do that and are able to give insights into how people are feeling and maybe to think ahead about what people will need so that they can plan to provide services, etc., for people's needs, especially with thinking about that people may come out of this with PTSD, they may come out of this with depression, they may come out of this with um, different side effects. If we look at the war and how people came out of that time of austerity, they had very little and then they were rationed, etc., etc. And then people came out of that and had different responses. There are people to this day who, um, ra you know, they live on rations still. They live, save everything they have. They use every money because they live through that time. There are people who blew everything out of proportion and, and, and went crazy just using everything they could um, because they had lived on so little that they wanted to ex have every experience. And then there are people all the way in between. And so it's really important for those people who have wisdom. You are going to be so important to others. You will shine brightly. You will be a way for people to see. But use that wisely. You know, it talks about um, being as bright as the expanse, but being righteous. Being righteous. Being doing the right thing. That's what being righteous, really Christian word, doing the right thing. Um, and I think that's really important for us to remember that while we are trying to lead, while we are trying to be wise in how we do things, we need to also do the right thing. Be wise with how we treat people. Be kind to how we treat people because that makes a difference ultimately. So this is an interesting passage because, of course, it speaks to a very specific group of people who will be leading. And those leaders can be variety, political leaders, economic leaders, pastors, um, pastors, priests, you know, all those teachers, all those people who lead others, who actually teach and lead others, uh, counsellors, psychologists, sociologists. I mean, the, the list is quite endless of the people that have influence within our communities. So I think it's really important that when we have those roles and we're thinking about how much power we could actually have at this point, it's really important to humble yourselves and do the right thing. You know, people need us to have integrity. They need us to shine and put light in things, not to take them down, not to make their situation worse, but to encourage and to to be a light for them, to be like the stars guiding their path so that they do not feel alone, um, extra isolated. You know, they're not having those worse experiences that the people that they trust are letting them down. It's a real statement to those in leadership that we have to step up to the plate we have to do better we have to be better leaders so challenge of the day thinking about how you lead in your community how you lead in your family how you lead in your particular situation but also how we look at others and how they shine brightly like stars but we have to be mindful of the fact that they're human and that they may make mistakes also and so we have to really and also just having that moment to speak to leaders and say we have to step up we have to have more integrity at this time we have to put people's needs first we really have to think about what we're doing with intentionality and can you stand to do that can you actually be less self-interested and more other interested because there are a lot of leaders who cannot do that so that's the challenge there you go have a great day